Let's take a look at finding confidence interval about a population mean. We're on a uh, HP prime graphing calculator. One population, one sample. Sigma is not known. Population transformation is not known. And we're given raw data. Okay. Um, here's how the problem reads. Sample scores listed below. Assume scores are normally distributed. Construct a 95% interval for the population mean. Okay. Interval is referring to the confidence interval. It says population mean, so we know what it's dealing with. And nowhere do I see sigma given, and we're given raw data. So that's what tells us to use the methods that I'm going to show here. First thing we need to do is we need to input our data in. So if you're not back at your application libra library, press your apps button. <laughs> and we want to go into statistics one var. So use your arrow keys to highlight it and press enter. And you already have numbers here. You can press the delete key over and over to clean them out. And notice what column we're in. We're in D1. Okay, so we got 83, enter, 81, enter, 85, enter, 70, enter, 92, enter, 75, enter, 97, enter, 97 enter. You probably want to use your arrow keys to go up and double check all of your, mon your numbers, not money, <laughs> and uh, make sure they're all correct. And after you're comfortable with those, um, then if you just press stats right here, this shows you all your summary statistics. So if you wanted to, you could write down the summary statistics straight from here. The one I'm specifically wanting to point out is notice what X bar is. That sure came out nice. It came out as 85. I made these numbers up, so I'm surprised it came out that nice. Okay, keep that in mind. So I'll click the OK, and I'll press apps to exit out of that. Now, to do the confidence interval, we want to go over the, the inference. So the second row, third column, and press Enter. Now, the method, it'll either say confidence interval or hypothesis testing. If you press Enter, if you have hypothesis test chose, then you want to use your arrow keys to highlight confidence interval and press Enter. Now down arrow to the type and press enter. And there's two we're interested in. First one is Z end, one mu, that mu is population mean. And then T end, one mu, again, one population mean. Now Z end is when you're given the uh, sigma. Sigma is known. So you know your population standard deviation. T end is when sigma is not known. You don't know what population standard deviation is. In this problem, we don't know what population standard deviation is. So we want to choose this T in option. So I'll press enter on it. Now that's the symbolic view. Plot is the graph, and num is a numeric view. So if I come over here, it asks me what X bar is. And I could, uh, if I wrote those down on a piece of paper from over in the other screen, I could just type these in directly. But there's an import option. If you click import, it'll ask where do you want to import it from. And we got our um, statistics one var. If I down arrow to here, I can choose, click the choose to choose this column. Now we only have one column, so you don't need to choose anything, because if I try to do an enter on this, um, there's only one. But if, if I had input data in more than one column, then you'd see D1, D2, however many columns you have. But anyway, you can just leave that alone. And then we click OK. And um, that gives us 85. Listen to the conversation in the background. Okay, now we want sample standard deviation. Again, I do import. See, this is 9.87 now. So I do import, and that's fine there, and you click OK. And just to make sure, on this one, we're going to do an import. And I'll click OK. Now, I believe when you do one import, it brings in all the necessary uh, items here. Let me, let me double check that. Okay, I put 88 in for the sample standard deviation. Come up here, choose import, and that's fine, and I click OK. Yeah, and it does bring them all in. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert on HP Prime graphing calculator. I'm just trying to fumble around enough for a student who's uh, trying to use it. Okay, the one thing it will bring in, though, is confidence level. In this problem, we said we want a 95% confidence interval. So I put in 0.95 and press enter. 
Okay, now once you get that, then you push the calc button here. And the lower and upper is your confidence interval. Uh, so let me come over here. And I'll run it two decimal places. It looks like 76.75. So 76.75 and 93.25. And that would be our answer. Now, uh, to exit out of this, you click the OK here. And then you push your apps button. And you can go back to your application library. In this video, we took a look at how to find the confidence interval by the population mean on HP Prime Graphing Calculator. One population, one sample. Sigma not known, and we're given raw data.